In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a workflow that will create a ditch component that has a given fore slope, a given back slope, and intersects a specified right away feature. The trick here is that the fore slope and the back slope will have a point down here at which they intersect, but that point is not known until the right away feature is targeted. So let's just start building this. The first thing that we need to do is create an end condition that will target the right away. So we'll place this end condition out here and we'll give this a name which will just be test. This test component is going to target feature XYZ that exists in our surface and for this example that feature will say that its name is right away. Click apply and close. Now let's go in and take a look at the point for this end condition. I'm going to go ahead and set that to infinite. I'm going to give it a name here of test1. And the constraints down here, we'll just leave that constrained, but um, it doesn't really matter since it is going to be targeting that feature. So let's click apply and close and we'll test that just to make sure that that one is working correctly. So if our target is the right away, we'll click draw and you can see that that component is targeting the location of that feature. So now we need to construct the ditch section down here. To do that, we're going to need to use a null point to define the point of intersection. So we'll add the null point and let's go ahead and edit the properties on that. We'll give that a name. And here's the trick. We're going to constrain that by slope and slope with this parent for the first constraint being this point and the second constraint will be this point. So let's go ahead and set the values for that slope. So we'll make this one negative 4% and we'll make this one a positive 5%. Click apply. So you can see now that this intersection point has been established. So now all that's left to do is to draw in the ditch itself. So we're simply going to make this a constrained component that will begin here. It will come down to here. And for now, we're just going to place this um, out somewhere in space. We'll define these point properties here in just a second. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at the component itself. Let's give that a name. And we're going to set a parent component for this, which will be this test end condition. So basically, when this condition is met, then this ditch will be displayed. And now we're going to define the properties of this point. So we'll give this a name. And we're going to constrain this point to the end of this end condition. We're going to put that right on top of that. The reason that I didn't just automatically place that right on top of the test one point is that I didn't want the points to be merged. I wanted to maintain separate points. So we'll click apply. And now we can test this. And you can see that wherever the right away feature is, that you have the 4% slope, 
5% slope coming down from the left side and a 5% slope coming down from the right side. And uh, the ditch bottom occurs where those two intersect. One last step. We don't really need this in condition to be displayed up here. So we're just going to go into this point, which is test one. And we're going to set that in condition to do not construct. Click apply. We'll test that one more time. And you can see that the ditch is working as expected.